In this problem, we're going to graph these parametric equations and also write the parametric equations in what's called rectangular form. Let's go ahead and work through it. We'll start maybe by writing them in rectangular form. So to do that, one strategy is to basically take this first equation here and solve it for t. So to do that, we'll just take the cube root of both sides. So if we have x equals t cubed, taking the cube root of both sides, will give us the cube root of x equal to t. In other words, t is equal to the cube root of x. So once we solve the first equation for t, we can basically take this and plug it into the second equation. So we have y equals, so it'll be the cube root of x, and then this is squared. That's all over 4. You can think of this as x to the 2 thirds, and it's all over 4. Uh, that's just a rule if you have uh, the nth root of x to the m. That's the same thing as the nth root of x to the m. And both of these are the same thing as x to the n over m. So it's just this one m over n, sorry, m over n, messed up. So it's m over n. So if you had like uh, the square root of x, there's a 1 here and there's a 2 here, so it's x to the 1 over 2. Uh, if you had the cube root of x squared, it's x to the 2 over 3, which is what we have here, right? This is the cube root of x squared. Let's go ahead and write this one more time as 1 fourth x to the 2 over 3. All right, let me write it one more time. So it's a little bit more clear. So 1 fourth x to the 2 thirds. So this would be the rectangular equation, y equals 1 fourth x to the 2 thirds. So that's half the question. The other half is to actually uh, do the graph. So to do the graph, uh, this graph here looks like this. This is called a cusp. It looks something like this. And I just have it memorized. I just know that whenever you have x to the 2 thirds, uh, you're going to have this graph, and it's called a cusp. You can also use your calculator to, to help you graph it. The last thing we have to do is find the orientation. So to find the orientation, what you do is you plot values and increasing values of t. So you make a little table with your t, with your x, and with your y, and then you just pick some numbers. You make some up. Let's do 0 and 1. So as long as they're going up, uh, this will work. So when t is equal to 0, we look here. And so we get x equals 0 cubed. So we get x equals 0. And we also get y equals 0, because we get 0 over 4, looking up here. So we are here. So this point here at the origin corresponds to t equals 0. When t equals 1, we get x equals 1 cubed, so we get 1. And we get y equals uh, 1 over 4. So when t equals 1, we're somewhere over here maybe. My graph is not drawn to scale. It's pretty bad. So this is t equals 1. So you see the graph is going this way. So this must be the orientation of the graph. So it just goes... Something like that. I hope this video has been helpful.